Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken. Today we're continuing the blind playthrough on uh, the unfair difficulty and it's time for us to continue our rampage um, into the mutant's lair. We've left off the last time with uh, trying to explore whatever happened here in the um, unwanted sector of footfall. And we're going to do exactly that. If I would have to take a guess, we're going to find a lot of mutants that don't like us and there will be a massive fight but let's just be don't take my word uh, for it i'm just anticipating that we're let's not going to go out of uh, here without a massive fight and since we already see that everybody here starts to hate us there is a fervor in my soul. Join me in prayer. Do you okay, Heinrich, you go to the front. My aspirations transcend humanity. And let's begin. Your struggles are in vain. With a nice Surrender little hit. Avalarch, good man. Stands there. And uh, we got good old Heinrichs. Um, good question. Maybe we're putting him on the left flank and he's then charging in. I think that's not a bad idea. There is a right flank here with a mutant, relatively speaking, close to us. So, upon reflection... Heinrichs will take that flank. Avalard will take that flank. And the center will be a kill zone. Like, there has never been one as deadly as that kill zone. Alright, here we go. Very good. Heinrichs' turn. I won't object to it. But of course, Lord Captain. Buffs everyone, gets into a defensive stance. Ah, Saiken should have moved. Well, not optimal. It is what it is. Um. Fields are always drowned in scarlet. Enemies start to move there. We're he uh, healing ourselves. If I may, backline. Me. Front line. If you insist, Lord Captain. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. And yeah, I mean, Cassia might as well just move to here. All right. For one round, all enemies are forced to reroll. That is perfect. That'll be right down there. And look at that, we can easily kill these guys. Very good. Defensive here. Uh, maybe just move the stuff over here, to be fair. Right. 
Good, Machine spin, uh, Spirit Communion and we're Gucci. So much damage. If I may, can't hand over an extra action. Mm, that's unfortunate. A little bit around. of buffing, and that should be it for now. Let's get to it. All right, Heinrichs moves in. Even if the guy parries, I don't mind. I won't object to it. We're buffing ourselves. We're currently at how much? Plus 15 from the cloak. Do these buffs also uh, count? Yep, they very much count. And your just gives 3% dodge all of a sudden on top of it. Mind you, all of that is permanent until the end of uh, the combat. Chaos guides me! Such is the will of chaos! I the I don't like that any Indeed. of their powers is called spread the disease. Well, that doesn't sound like something I would want. My place is at the fall. Victory is imminent. At your back and call. Fantastic hit. Unfortunately to me, it seems like we have reached Veil Degregation. That, of course, is not good. But I won't stop. I will just kill them harder. So I can just literally blew them out of the water. Moves to here and helps on this side. After letting Argenta go. Destiny. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. All right, let's go. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Rejoice in battle! That is not the Emperor's will. I refuse. Cannot uh, shoot right next to an another enemy. All right, that is unfortunate. This is unacceptable. That is really bad. That's unfortunate. Did 
That guy needs to go. Can't give her gent another buff, unfortunately. But I could do that, I think, with Pascal here. I need no guidance. Hmm, Pascal, my man. What are we going to do with you? And why is there such a nasty background sound all right let's increase the chance to hit this was one percent not a great increase Here we go. Fabulous burst fire. Lovely. Good. We can't really move, but we can use Power this here. Move in, scout him, make him eat much more damage, and all of a sudden we're hitting 450 points of damage. Fantastic. One hit, I am a more damage, yet, an yet another hit, and force these guys out of cover and take more hits. Heinrichs. I need a foothold. No. Charges in. Let's see to it. Takes taunting scream. I want to double check the cloak, uh, which by now has 21 uh, um, defense, which is fantastic. Let's see to it. 21 dodge. Sorry. Follow my lead. Indeed. It will be done. Vengeance will be swift. Sow the seeds of discord. Ruin beckons. I will triumph. All right. Move to here. And let's just get this guy killed. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. Embrace true power. Alright, needed to take a short break. I just reflected it's really unfortunate that we were killing all of the mutants. Instead we could have hopeful uh, the world better would be to find a peaceful solution. And unfortunately that isn't that wasn't happening. I must have missed one of the uh, the options. Predictable. I must have missed one of the options. Kind of a peaceful resolution. 
All right, uh, this set of chemicals increases the damage of all bleeding, burning, or toxin effects by two. Well, we're not using that whole lot of things, I guess. If we ever happen to play a poison, acid, or bleeding character, then I guess that would be a good item. I tread a okay, path so that was that. A non-100% satisfactory solution for the problem of these guys. I was honestly hoping we would find a better one. Now, there is still one more thing to do in the atrium. There is a little temple. And uh, I think said temple has the next hint in that long riddle quest. And I think then we should have done everything here in footfall. Good, so we're either talking about this statue here. Hmm, I think that is exactly what we were looking for. Alright, each use of Revel and Slot increases the wearer's perception plus 10%, that's fantastic. For every kill, the wearer's increases their critical hit chance. That is also quite fantastic. And we got ourselves a finished quest. Now, with our, our agenda, what do we have? Fixed um, burst rate or increased critical hit chance. Vice versa, 15 fellowship or the increased critical hit chance. Hmm. Given that Saiken and um, and uh, Argenta are the main damage dealers, that's a difficult decision. Revel and Slaughter is an ability from the soldier, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Revel and Slaughter is from the soldier. And 10 perception isn't bad at all. Hmm. I think we're uh, switching that single bolter shots always hit really good ability, but that permanent perception stack is too good to pass it on. I'll leave her with the extra rate of fire also because uh, this backpack just looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think we're giving him this little this little cloak. Hmm. What I'm noticing is um, our gloves are potentially our kind of weakest element. We don't have a lot of great gloves. Good, in terms of map packs, there you go. We really should uh, have these refillable map packs. Let me uh, level up or every single uh, one of our characters real quick. Good, we're level 26. Nice early upgraded skills. And Let's I think the new the two items were worth uh, the little quest here. Which neatly brings us uh, back to our original quest. We're going to go feet. back to the ship 
and we're uh, we're going to hunt down this Drukari who challenged us and we're going to behead him that's the plan good off we go we're back on the ship <clears throat> let's just double check our Coronas expanse and I want to say that we might want to get up here which is pretty much exactly where we want to be coming from here into the center but at the same time there is this one little planet well captain raver on the light the astropaths are going crazy in the little chambers they're reporting severe warp disturbances it looks like the more completely impassable i've seen this before and yes uh, if you ask me, going in there is uh, not a good idea for us or any void ship. Uh, I did not inherit this void ship only to destroy it in the rolling immaterium. Let someone uh, less valuable deal with them all. All right, maybe later. Uh, teleport here. Teleport there. I think another direct connection from here wouldn't be too bad. Have we even ever explored this side here. I think we've never been there. Yep, we have never been here. So from here we might reach reach these guys up here. We most certainly find an easier route to here and then from here we can get there. But before we're going anywhere, let's visit the Orselia Prophecy. Which seems to be a pirate plagued system. In true fashion, we find it appears that a large void ship recently dumped, dumped a huge load of junk and faulty parks from the orbit. The debris that did not burn in the atmosphere is now blocking the flow of a mighty river, this dam, causing the river to overflow, flooding the nearby valley. A, a herd of large hoofed uh, rodents is gathered along the riverbank. If the animals lose their usual habitat, they are doomed. Removal of the space debris. It takes many planetary turns and hundreds of crew members to remove the heap and trash, letting it flow freely again. The rodents run back to their uh, pastures without so much of a backward glance of the people who saved them. Who knows, maybe it'll help us in the long run. Pirates, hostile objects, one. Well, that can't be that bad, can it? Let's do some space fighting, guys. Like I said, I wish you you could see what you're up against, but maybe that's part of the challenge, that you never really know what you're fighting against. This Ooh, we got another friendly, friendly ship. Has been Torpedoes, now! All right, hitting that ship. A cold void. Let destruction pour forth. Hitting that ship even more. 
making it vulnerable, forcing it to move in different fashions. Unleash the storm of macro cannons. And redirect shields to this side. Uh, They haven't even taken damage. That was fantastic. And we had a ship that supported us. That was great as well. Prometheum. Oh, I would love to get that. Talking about contracts here, right? More profit factor for people. You got 10 people. And this here would get provisions up. Which we already have quite a few. Mm, I'm not sure if I should do that. I think I'll just stick with the people for now. Sucks that we can't extract the Promethean. <sighs> Listen, we need to get up here to visit this guy. But I would like to get these three systems explored. Lord Captain, the astropathic choir have caught glimpses of horrifying vision on Veribus uh, 6. Something breached the colony from underground. Soon after the new sector's deep tunnel have been put into operation, it was overrun by monsters. The lurk in the darkness, swarm in the shadow, attack quietly and leave nothing in their way, consuming flesh, plasteel, and uh, rock creed. The churring of thousand claws approach praise to the golden throne. These creatures do not seem to be interested in getting to the surface. However, they have seized several active mines and uh, doing Emperor only knows what. Hmm. What do my advisors think? Threat is unknown. Find out what the threat is. We have to block up the threat and protect the people. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll seal the enemy underground. Making a sign of Iquila with the hands a dozen murderers uh, wearing explosive vests have descended into the darkness. Their belief carried them towards the gracious death in his name. Uh, a series of tremors shook the mines, the monstrous, uh, monstrous roars, crumbling earth filled the empty tunnels, clouds of toxic smoke have erupted from the depth of the mines, the blockage of stone and dirt has separated people from these terrible invaders, whoever they were. Good. We got five ballistic skill on everyone, that is great. And now we can get efficiency or security. Let's start with efficiency. Fortunately, we can't get any of uh, the other projects going. Could get a shrine here with a hammer of epiphany 
nice little bonuses, but bonfire of the righteous, which is blocked by good tidings. Too bad, because crusade would have been nice. Rogue trader uh, gets good bonus during warp encounters. More damage against demons. That's a fantastic um, buff. Here we get uh, the Hammer of Epiphany. It's not a bad hammer. Hmm. When you shove someone, it doubles the damage of the weapon. That's a neat little trick. But I would have really liked to get the Crusade heat going. Can you undo projects? Good question. What's the project name? Good tidings. Hmm. Well, Good Tidings, on the other hand, gave us pretty sizable um, critical hit chance. So I think it, at the end, evens out. This here is, again, warp, uh, warp Encounters and Demons, and Good Tidings is for all of uh, the battles. So I think at the end, the paths are pretty similar. Good, beginning the scan, nothing. Lord Captain, the augurists detect, uh, cannot determine the ship we approach belongs to, but the telemetry clearly reveals an Imperium vessel. The hull is badly damaged, which means they are hermetically sealed. What are your orders? Let's go. Uh, we who walk the same passages, the same bays every day, we who born, live and die by the ship machine, we forever hunger for the smallest glimpse of life, for the glory of the Imperium. Like the deck whale cast ashore by the inextorable force of swell the wrecked ves uh, vessel was confronting sight for its unwitting visitors. Some bays were retained in atmosphere, but there was no life anywhere. The ship was dead, the machine spirit disappeared in the darkness of space, was just a husk left and the rogue. Okay, try penetrating gaze uh, to have uh, Idiria uh, feel out the course. An unholy psyker she may be, but even uh, souls as dark as hers submit to the Lord Captain's will. Let's train the eye. The archer's keen eye scanned the eerie vessel, identifying the void ships is gravely damaged. There was little time to explore it. Three sectors deemed least damaged, bridge, middle crew, and service bay. In exchange of a series of thrills, um, tech priests responsible for the archers reported the Lord Captain that they had glimpsed signs of valuable components. The Lord Captain's next step uh, was... Turn his attention to the scout units awaiting instructions. Okay, Captain Vassy, who jokes, will be remembered by everyone in decks 3 to 5. Alright, the Lord Captain had to decide which of the three teams he, had, uh, he would lead and which he would be entrusting to their officers. Let it be known that the names of the honest people stood uh, our rogue trader in that moment. Uh, Yong Hu Son, who was as firm as his handshake, Captain Vesti, who was remembered by everybody for his jokes, 
uh, Captain Martina, senior officer um, of the third unit, known as Grey Martina. She's been leading on this, uh, when the, all of the scouts were snot-nosed kids. All right, Grey Martina, you got that. From here on, we will relate to the events based on what ha we have learned from witnesses. Shuttle started. Um, up one after another dispersed, each heading to a selected target after hours cutting through the hull and fuzzy boarding. Um, rogue trader stepped into the cold dark deck of the dead ship. Light of the torches revealed the gloom fireborn. Um, after mid -long, a minute long exchange with Vox Master, we quickly che checked the archives. It was established that the dead vessel was that of Captain Nova Van Dane, registered at Kiva Gamma Port. All right, knowledge check successful. The Lord Captain assessment proves to be correct. After a thorough search, uh, the scouts found undamaged components, uh, such as 15 salvaged omniprocessors, holy targeting unit, and a bit of experience. Sounds cracks from the Vox speaker, light of casing switched on, signaling messages. Commander Yong Ho Son calmly reported that his unit was making satisfactory progress. This was followed by a message from the second unit. Um, Captain Vasti, the words came through sound muffled. The person on the other end wasn't speaking directly into the box but accidentally pressed to transmit something else. Never seen anything like it's so beautiful. Horn, wait, wait, is it moving? Uh, the pale capped Martina barked out in the stream's orders, telling the unit and rings uh, around the or um, rogue trader and prepare for trouble. But the yelling from the f uh, Vox turned into laughter. Ha! I got it, old girl, boomed the voice from the speaker. Belong to Captain Vessi. Don't panic, we're all good here. Not a thing to report. I hope you're just uh, uh, just as in uneventful. Uh, white with anger, Martina turned to the rogue trader. Captain Vesti has a unique sense of humor. I strongly suggest um, that, uh, that your lordship take him in his hand. All right, Captain Vesti reported that his unit 4A um, had so far proceeded without in in incident, mystical or otherwise. They had found no survivors on the ship or bodies in that matter. After consulting, issued new orders. Vesti's unit headed out to carry the new orders while the rogue trader and his team continued on. Um, we got more stuff, more stuff, and uh, pretty nice armor, light armor. Ensuring the deathly silence alerted to Lord Captain that something was wrong. Following the gaze of his team, he saw that the unit's dispatcher was carried a uh, large Vox caster with an antenna and transmitter was lagging far behind the rest of the group. Uh, and the transmitter indicated was dark when there had no incoming messages. Even uh, if there had been, Son's voice couldn't have sounded so close as if the des dead, uh, dispatcher were standing right next to the rogue trader. So here, Unit 1, proceeding to the bridge, says the voice again, now seem to coming from all sides, drawing from left to right. Let's resist the illusion. We managed that. Lord Captain managed not only maintain his self-control, but also keep the terrifying unit from veering into outright panic. Led by the rogue trader, the scouts hurried and retreated to the shuttle. After returning to the shuttle, Sai can receive reports about fireborne status, tech priests who relentlessly pierce the wreckage um, with augur's gaze, um, insisting to operate as soon as possible, fearing imminent destruction. There was also reports from other units. The second unit has succeeded in moving through the danger zone, had returned to the shuttle. Augurs of the Vox, uh, Vox systems proved equally used, uh, useless. The first unit, which has been exploring the bridge, had vanished with, without a trace, almost as if the deep ship had swallowed them in whole. Uh, the scouts and their commander, Yong Hong Son, had simply disappeared, joining thousands of crew members lost abroad. And we got a hotshot laser pistol, a nice bracer, and two long lasts. Okay. Let's hold the ceremony. Led by the sister Argenta, the scouts uh, built funeral pyres, old metal barrels, 
as they heard the sister words understanding uh, dawned on the survivors death dodged in the footsteps for everyone but their destiny is higher than theirs they should always remember that is the reason why they were going time's up the scouting party returned to the ship one last look at the fire um, fireborn the rogue trader Destroyed it. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Lots of cargo. I like that. Is it's not bad. It's a weapon that Argenta is having. I actually prefer that over the other sniper simply due to the dodge reduction and the additional hit chance and it's easier because you don't need to reload it as often so it's a good sniper. Which brings us to pistol. Ah, giving him a pistol so that he can build up stacks wouldn't be too bad. But then again, how good is that pistol compared to other pistols that we do have? The dodge reduction is actually quite sexy. I like that. But I think the shuriken pistol is better. Okay, cool. What else? Um, in terms of armor, Someone with a high awareness uh, would love that armor. Is awareness perception? Oh, it is awareness, awareness. Okay, got you. So this thing here has extra dodge for high awareness. Um, well, funny that you say that Saiken because Cassia does have a high awareness and has exactly that armor. Does anyone else come with super high awareness? Eh, this might be the right armor for you my dear. Yeah I think that's the right armor for her. Beautiful. Okay and I think that was pretty much it. The only thing that we did not get is excavators for more resources. Look at that, more provisions and we just can't get it. Alright, the giant rings of this planet's surface can be observed even from orbit. Examine them. It has emerged uh, that the planet has a native species of giant insects called Terran ants. Just like ants, they sometimes uh, form so-called death spirals, in which one creature falls another without realizing they are going in circles. This is where the rings uh, discovered by the ships uh, can be observed. Strange phenomenon was originally suspected to be a sign of warp activity. But turned out to be just a tragic tale. All right. Hmm. Well, well, well. We visited this part, might as well charge her over here. And all of this here is freed with the exception of this up here where we need better weapons. 
to fight the Drukari. Ah, the perils of void of the war taking sometimes a little bit hull damage which is unfortunate all right um, I like the idea that we can get over here but I would like to explore that first so let's Visit the Pillars of Viridis. Just double checking something real quick. Never mind. Okay, I was thinking, have we even scanned for new routes? But yeah, we did. Still no more excavator here. But we got a landing uh, shipwreck and a bit of plat steel. Well, time to go down there and hopefully we get a couple of excavators. This time we arrive at an Inquisition shipwreck. I wonder how bad can it be. Let's seize the opportunity. Got a normal shotgun, fair enough. Triumphant. These soldiers were As killed by always. shots in the back. It seems they were executed by their own comrades. I tread a path unexplored. We should deal this with looks this. like a trap. The Emperor sets my path. This very much looks like a trap. I'm expecting turrets to come out. Uncover my path. There's a gaping hole in each of the corpses' heads. Uh, they were brought out here and shot point blank. This exploratory is blessed with multifunctionality. The readings indicate that the ship's reactor is still running. Okay. An expected result. Passengers will keep their mouths shut, there is no screaming. No, I hear too the Emperor, his screams are so loud. Me too, it's allowed. Please stop this torment. Why are you torturing us? Something is not right. This isn't right. You can't treat us like this. What is going on? We want to live. Embrace the gift of decay. Alright, is that Nurgle again? You get paranoid if you play too much Warhammer because the Chaos Gods are all over the place. Look at that. This looks like Nurgle 101. Gotta call the Grey, uh, the Grey Knights to clear out this mess. The world trembles beneath my feet. Ruinous favor prevails. Embrace the gift of decay. These people were not killed by weapons. Perhaps there was no ammunition left for them. Intriguing. How fascinating. I retract my initial statement of it being turrets. No, 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 no. I think it's going to be much worse than that. Warden Kappa 322 reporting for patrol duty in the main confinement cell. 
Atmospheric senders indicate presence of unknown impurities, high risk of contamination. But you got, uh, ooh, I couldn't read the rest. Looks like a Nurgle demon to me. Like a big fat Nurgle demon. I tread a path unexplored. I'm still new to the art of exploring. Join me in prayer. All right, throne prevents us from the arc enemy's manifestations. Is that the same ship that once transported you? I have insufficient knowledge of the structural features of the black ship, so I can, however, I do recognize some of the fragments. Remnants of Psy Shield, speakers for stunning prisoners, sedative diffusers. What do you think happened? Anything could have happened. Even black ships are not immune to the uh, vagarities of warp. Uh, the Galafield uh, prison riot minor glitches I better myself through my service Let's seize the opportunity all right, what is this here? After the last ship consolidated, uh, they transferred me to the par pariah barracks and everything they said about these freaks is true. I don't know if they've raced this way or if they don't have a soul. I had to move on from the psychers from the command hold. Okay. Couple more grenades. Need a key. Fair enough. So we've lost contact with uh, sections two, three, eight, two, three, nine. The riot is spreading. If we're looking at Nurgle worshippers, oh, this is going to be bad, really bad. The name of Inquisitor Uten Hall, all crew members are hereby ordered to take up arms and begin total purge of the holes. Beautiful. The Emperor protects. Oh wow, are you kidding me? You have been ambushed. Psst. Not cool. Um Purpose guides me. Heinrichs, my dude. Give everybody a bonus and uh, please buff Natural. yourself. Naturally. I won't have Thank you. to it. <laughs> this is going to be absolutely ravaging. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Lord Captain. All right, Pasco moves a little bit closer here. Uh, for one round, all allies gain cover efficiencies. That's okay. Mm, 
Fantastic. That's a good big fat hit. Can't hit any of uh, the enemies. All right, Cassia. Emperor, give me the fury of House of Celio. Kills all of them. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. And give Saigon another a turn. For the serfs? Who takes the opportunity and one step show them no mercy? Wow, deals so much damage. And why are there enemies behind us? What is even happening? Argenta, we need some help. I'll do it. I'm a member. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Here we go. Heavy board. Doubt is for the weak. Take this and I'll do it. Eradicated. We're just thy using that. And thy light I crave. That is not the Emperor's will. One two as the Emperor commands. <laughs> Three. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worth strike is a prayer. Well, that was a good start. Guided by faith. Argenta continues to move Doubt up even further. My emperor. Eradicated. I will not. I'll do it. For you, my emperor. As the emperor commands, each strike is a prayer. I refuse. That is not the emperor's will. Good. We're at another heroic ability if we wanted to. Ruin beckons. That and that as a buff, and we're good. Argento just gets more actions. Uh, do a little do bit of that and that act. and that for free. And here we go. <laughs> I think we're just repeating that over here. For the weak, none can escape the Emperor's judgment. As the Emperor commands, I <laughs> this is unacceptable. I refuse. 
I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, the right is a prayer. Alright, that was a nasty turn overall. Commands, I act. Just giving her uh, the turns. Turn all of that into a complete slaughter uh, fest. Everyone, step aside. Very good. That's a hit. Let's see to it. Takes more damage. Uh, attacks us and more damage. A tactically sound approach. At your back and forth. Victory is <laughs> grey hair. Sure hair. I will do my duty. Indeed. Faith without deeds is none can escape the Emperor's judgment. I think we're done, right? Wow. <laughs> wow, we have Embrace been true power. We have been completely surrounded from two sides. But the enemy didn't even get a single turn. The world trembles beneath my feet. That was a fun little encounter. Perfection. Where there is death, you will find his gardens. Uh, oh yeah, well, his gardens, that is Nurgle. Garden of Nurgle. We know that the world from um, demon hunters. The corpse flesh has crystallized and turned into a translucent sarcophagus and sealed within. Its slope is the pulse, uh, are the pulsifying organs. Can we get upstairs? Is that possible? A two coated in layer of putrefied goo containing revolving growth. Okay. Hmm. I tread a path unexplored. Oh. That wasn't the end. Yep, Poxwalk, uh, Poxwalkers. That's Nurgle 101. That is Nurgle 101, baby. In vain. He'll make a suitable sacrifice. Alright, and we got Heinrich over here. Let's go. Heinrich. Hits everyone with a buff. But of course, Lord Captain. Increases his own uh, dodging, and we're good. not to cross my gaze see there is a, a Nurgle demon already How many hit points 300 yeah okay well isn't this a job for the serfs sure you'll take you'll definitely uh, Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Get the full debuffs. That is foolishness. I am a navigator. All right, we got strategy. three uh, stratagems. Might as well use them.
Yeah, well, we're going to if I may. deal AoE damage. There you go. That's fantastic. And Isn't this a job for the Argenta. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands. Gives it uh, gives it a nice little aggressive burst. Plague bringer almost down. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Running by the Good, another 88 points of damage, lovely. Bit of extra damage. Um, make sure that we're reducing his damage. There's one down. That is for the weak. Faith without deeds is worth Fabulous, two down. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. And we're good. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Everybody here gets braced for impact. At your beck and call. Charging in. It will be done. Kill this guy. I will do my Less damage and we're setting Victory is imminent. That sphere is our main enemy. Indeed. Chaos guides me. I buff, need no buff. guidance. I will. Heinrich gets a buff. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. What's the uh, matter with this thing? Invincibility, immune to all damage. Uh, death of creatures under its control. Deals direct damage to it. Okay. I see. So the only thing that we can do is kill creatures under its control. And that leads to damage for it. This is crazy damage, by the way, up to 300 points. What a satisfying device. That is indeed very, very satisfying. One step closer. I'm a member. A short check. Um, we got eighteen percent from the cloak. If we rebuff this here. Does that increase the cloak? Yes, it does. Which means oh, well, this and this. It. I won't and a little drop it. off of that. The Emperor is on our side. And we're already at 27% of the cloak. That cloak is crazy. For the throne's glory. I serve the ruinous powers. Death to non-believers. Oh, 
they are spawning new monsters. I like that. I like that a lot. Very nice. Do not dare ask. If only that were possible. I have read tomes of military tactics. Fantastic. Um You'll take a little bit of that and look. These guys are just moving a little bit further away. And then Saiken gets uh, the bonus here. Ooh, wow. Good. That position was unfortunately not good. I will not stoop to this. Unfortunately, no one is in line I'll of sight. Reject the very idea. I won't waste my time on that. You already killed every single one of them. I will triumph. Purpose guides me. I need no guidance. This is beneath me. Hmm. <sighs> Too bad. And conquer. Purpose guides. Very good. If We're carefully moving back. Request denied. The enemies just Request have nothing denied. on us. Good, little buff for everyone. Yeah, we can't even... Whatever. We can't even... Do much here. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury! I'll do it. This is why I for 169. Holy. For you, my emperor. Faith without Three good hits. Lovely. Eight cells. Okay, well, it's not really a long-range weapon. 
of Lord. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is Brian we're just going to put you here. Ones. That, that, it that. Be done. I'd rather not. I'm not interested. And that's pretty much it. Good. every single turn extra shot uh, how far is our dodge stacked plus 30 I like it only reason why I'm stop casting buffs there is because I don't want a massive Get demon a invasion touch. I won't object to it Okay, gotta be careful here, Saiken. You're treading on very thin ice. Step aside. The navigator is coming. Job for the serfs. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, good hit. Doubt is for the weak. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Skill. Request approved. Moves our zone a little bit further to the front. And where is this fox walker coming from? What the hell is happening? Die, fox walker, die. Good. I'll do it. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Here we go, rapid fire. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. Faith without deep. Okay, we got a lot of options here. Let's get another heroic egg going. 
As the Emperor strike is a prayer. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. This is unacceptable. I will not. Fortunately, really can't see these guys. My place is at the floor. Abelard I will do my duty. Charges in, kills an enemy. It will be done. Takes these guys. It will be done. Descend upon the weak. I will triumph. Although that would be the cool thing to do, just exploding them. I think, hmm. well, maybe we're going with cool thing. Purpose guides me. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Out of my way! Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Alright, Cassia moves a little bit back and I think we're good. Six hundred points of damage. <laughs> Saigon, what has happened to you? I was okay, we're staying on this side. Naturally. And I think we're just keeping Death it as weak. is. Chaos guides me. I serve the ruinous powers. What else? This thing is still a hundred and fifty. Okay. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Isn't this a job for the serfs? As duty demands. If I may. All right, Saiken. Can deal up to 600 points of damage against the these demons. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I am a navigator, not a servitor. All right, so what are we going to do with you guys? Um, Pascal, my homie. Who is going to deal an absolute monstrous amount of damage? Kills all of them. And then I think we're just good. My competencies are not that. King cleanses the body. I'll 
do it. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> Almost another kill. Of course, any build that is stacking up attacks is, going, is having an absolute field day against these guys, right? At your back and call. Indeed. Victory is imminent. At your back and call. Someone like Argenta has 14 stacks of versatility. That's just crazy. Think about it. No, no, you don't have that yet. Yeah, we're not, uh, not uh, pushing anything further. Ruin beckons. I'll do it. Guided by faith, as the emperor. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Ah, unfortunately missed. For the throne's glory. Yeah, I don't want to put more psychic abilities in. But of course, Lord Captain. Out of my way! We're just waiting for them to respawn. Death to the weak! Good hit. Fantastic to be fair. If you insist, Lord Captain. A little bit more of a little stair, and this eye should go down. That's a lot of hit points for sure. Reloading our plasma. And free stratagems. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Good. Argenta. Up to 17 stacks. Lovely. I'm a mender. It will be done. Time for Abelard to shine. At your back and call. This time with this and private enemy and a little bit of that and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
hit up to 400 yeah I need to be careful can't always hit for the full amount uh, can't continue to cast like that through chaos I stride I should have used press the advantage Purpose guides me Argenta gains another turn. As the Emperor struck is a prayer. Doubt is for the <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I act. All right, fury. keep on eliminating all of these guys, and Faith then we're moving back thanks to our stratagems. I refuse. That is not the Emperor's will. Yeah, Heinrichs again Let's has nothing it. near him. I don't want to spend. I need a foothold. I don't want to spend any more. I won't object to it. This charge is simply to give him more Death dodge. That's a self buff. I want to spend any more casting. Because the one thing that I don't want is more demons to um, come up. Alright, let's go. Fabulous. Fabulous. I will not. I'm afraid not. That is foolishness. Do not dare ask. Little, uh, shot. Oh wow, Pascal also deals so much damage. Did we just kill the eye? That was a long fight overall. Yeah, that warp sphere is uh, an alien artifact. Triumphant as always. Unholy shard. This amulet uh, reduces all toxic damage by minus fifty percent. Uh, they also heal one wound per heretical rank each time they suffer toxic damage. Typical Nor N Nurgle uh, stuff. Powers unseen uncover my path. Yeah, I'm pretty sure trembles we gave them a hard time. And that seems to be all there is on this planet. Embrace true Unless I have power. missed something, but that was a cool little intervention. Yeah, 
And we got Tempestus Carapace. And a nice Melter Pistol. With a nice little Infernal Blast. Range isn't that high, but the damage is awesome. Might be something for Jay. Yeah, the Tempestus Carapace, unfortunately a little bit worse than what we're I currently having. Path unexplored. A bitter taste of defeat. Let's seize the opportunity. Duty prevails. Favor prevails. Powers unseen uncover well, my path. It seems that that has been pretty much everything that we could be asking for. A couple more goods, but that's about it. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Intriguing. And yeah, well, that explains uh, the dead comrades there who have been purged. And unfortunately, everybody fell to Nurgle. And uh, that also marks the end of today's episode, as I think we've gone way above the, uh, the normal uh, limit. And uh, we're going to continue it right here uh, with the next episode. Thanks a lot. Have a good one and see you soon. Bye bye, guys.